Joshua Moati. You know what? What's your nickname? I don't have one. I know, I know it's that. You haven't got a nickname. You know what I mean? Because they should maybe change you. Look young, because you look a bit mad with the hair and the beard. Every time, that's why I know when you're on it. You look like them man in the, in the movies where they say, put him in the hole. You know? Like, there's, there's nothing that I'm doing right now but training. I know. So no barbers, no, there's nothing that I'm required to do. This one, I had to do, but I'm not going to go to the barber just because of this. Yeah, I know, because I see they've got Afro as well going on. I'm trying, man. You should cut off some and give it to Dwayne. <laughs> 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 nah, hey, what? nah, big up Dwayne still, big up Sinclair's my guy. This is a big fight, it's a very juicy fight. Yeah. It was a few, like, earlier this year when you signed with, with um, Boxer and Dan was here, I said, wow, that would be a good fight yeah. down the line. It's, it's here now. What's your feelings about that? Um, people ask me, Smith, did I ever think I was going to fight then? And the answer is no. As you know, yeah, if you're the same way as someone, we keep them at arm's length. But Dan, I never kept at arm's length because I thought if there's one guy I would never fight, if there's two people, Hot Shot, my boy, and Dan Aziz. That yeah. was always my stance. But they were, that was years ago. And even up to this year, I sparred Dan in March. In this same place, when I was given the mic, the first thing I said was, big up Dan Aziz. You yeah, I was there. I was here. You see what I'm saying? So did I know I was going to fight him later on? No. Was I, did I want to fight Dan back then? No. But for a final eliminator for the world title, do I want to fight Dan? Absolutely. You sparred numerous rounds together. Who used to get the better of sparring? There were many times where I came in and it was easy work. Many times where Dan came in and he probably left thinking that was easy work. Up and down. It's, it's, the sparring session has been too many to say, oh, I won eight out of ten. Hundreds of rounds, though. hundreds of rounds, and I never remember them because I never thought this was someone that I'm gonna fight. Well, I'm not here to look over this fight, but last week in the Sky Studios, Anti Yard went to the camera. Your main guy. And he said, Anti Yard said, Anti Yard said, okay, cool. Anti Yard said, after that, he'd like to fight Joshua Boatsi. So, what are you saying? Rubbish, all cap. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. The thing about your boy is, I saw him, let's say like a month ago. There was none of that energy. We spoke, we never said, ah, oh, you look a bit mediocre, sometimes you look good, sometimes you look bad. There was none of that. Then there's an interview with Warren, and he's got a different energy. Rubbish. Who did he fight last week, Spence? I, I don't know the guy, but Thank yeah. you very much. I'm fighting Aziz, a credible opponent. So let me handle that, then we can deal with your boy later on. So that's the fight you want after if you come out victorious? Winning this fight, I won the world title shot. Why am I going right, to fight okay. Anthony Yard? I'm All winning right. a final eliminator. Why am I going to go to fight Yard when I've grinded to get here, to get through this fight? But Anthony Yard, in, in defense of him, has fought for two world titles. And unfortunately for him, he fell short. So why should I then leave my crack at gold to rock with him? Why would I do that when I need to also have my crack at gold? Then we can rock. It makes sense, you know it. All right then. But that is a fight that we could see happening Absolutely. in the near future. Absolutely. It's a fight that must happen next year. Hands okay. Hands down. Okay. Well, I've got two more questions. Why are you going to win this fight? By being myself. By doing what it takes to win. When I'm in there, I'm locked in. Um, we're all working hard. And I said down there in an interview, I'm working hard, but I'm waiting and depending on a favor from God. I don't have any other answer to give you, bro. That's how I'm seeing it. I'm doing my part. I'm sure Dan is working as hard as he can be, but that's what I'm depending on. Okay. And also, I saw you had knives, um, was it knives not lives? Yeah. Lives not knives uh, on your t-shirt earlier. The importance, knowing like what happened um, last week to the young girl Eliana Adam. Um, like, what are your feelings on that? It was sad, bro. I, I was in camp. My mom sent me an article. She said this is from Brain, and I said no, it's not. I clicked on it, read it. I couldn't believe it. Very, very sad that such a thing has happened. Spent. My family's always been on the rise, even in my time and your time. But 
back in them days, we had different social clubs and different things we could do. Boxing was the thing that took away my time from being distracted. So, if the government or whoever's in charge can make more provisions for these things, to take time away, but also educate people. If you go down that road, this is what it leads to. However, if you take the other route, the world's your oyster, man. I used to watch Sky Sports and think, how did you get on Sky Sports? I used to watch the Olympics and think, these guys are superhumans. You're representing a nation at a world event. How do you do that? Thank God I can stand here and say, Spence, I've been to the games. I've been on Sky Sports all the time. I'm very thank you. But it can happen to anyone, not just me. Josh and Bertie, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Keep on doing your thing, yeah? Looking forward to you on the 21st, yeah? I'm there. Love, thank you.